<laughs> okay, I will send Pete a message real quick. Because, oh boy. Good news and bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Please make Obed, yes, the dumb one who used to be a fast food worker and got fired from that as a PC. You can play this guy with all of McKay's knowledge, but Obed's starting skills, knowledge and personality. First, do you have anything I should tell him on this from you? No, Chris, welcome, uh, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Bargain man says, welcome back. <laughs> and, all right. Happy birthday. <laughs> Dar Darius and Claire are just stunned. Like, where did he go? Where'd he go? Oh, good. He's gone. Is he dead? Not sure. They just fucking stare slack jawed at you. As though perhaps you are one of the most evil people they know, which is true. Because Obed has done this, Joshua McKay shall live. Several guards burst into applause and stuff. Give me a uh, fast talk roll there, bargain man. Right, let's see. Let's make calm down the situation quite a bit if you can pull off this little thing. <coughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, here it is. That was hilarious as one of the Alex Kinley fan club. I'd have had him pick up skills in modeling and shit like that. <laughs> Made it. <clears throat> People burst into applause at Bargain Man's words, and uh, they everybody seems mollified at uh, uh, Doc Fulton uh, shoving a glowing ball of light in Obed, causing him to scream and disappear. <laughs> they seem strangely okay with this. I oh Chris, do give me a Sandy roll, cold blooded murder, as Obed <laughs> is now dead. You are totally fine with this. Take only one point of sand loss toward cold-blooded killing. Just to continue your climb towards 60 and freedom. 59 or so more people, he thinks, Doc Fulton. I'm at eight now. Oh, wow. There you go. Only in this campaign would cold-blooded killing of eight people be considered, eh, fine. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, right, uh, they they go back to their business and stuff. I guess you're done in here. Uh, oh, um, he says, uh, so, why have we been having earthquakes and lightning and such here? Oh, the world is destabilizing. Ah. Is it something we did that has caused the world to destabilize? We? No. He stares at you suspiciously. Is it something you did that caused the world to destabilize? Not he looks really. at his wife. She looks at him. <laughs> she says, excuse me, James, could you please go fix whatever you did? <laughs> well, we're working on it, believe me. I do believe you, she says. I'm not even going to inquire more. Darius looks like he would like to inquire a fuck of a lot more, but she puts a hand on his arm and he shuts up. 
he looks like he wants to say things or yell things and she just puts her arm or hand on his arm and that that pretty much just shuts him down he goes ah. good right. luck she says um so tom come with me sure I pull out the firewall card and I step through and I hold my hand out. I... Right. You guys both go there and holy shit, says Doc Fulton. <coughs> There's something new here. And it looks like this. It's cold as fuck here, by the way. You're both going to die of hypothermia soon. But you see this handy saloon called the Last Chance Saloon, not very far away from you. I go on in because it's cold as fuck here. Mm hmm. Tom Tom, would you like to follow yes. along? Yeah. Inside, you guys see an interesting sight. It looks like Clem is tending bar and. Uh, sitting at the bar is and looking back at you is an old cowboy. He has a white mustache and a white hat, brown vest, blue shirt. I sit down. How goes? <laughs> One minute, flip, flip, flip. He says, I see you got your sitting pants on. Let's chaw the rag. Clem racks up some drinks and with a smile goes off to sweep the floor a ways away. So, Tommy, looks rather new here. Never seen this place before. Well, obviously I haven't. <coughs> <coughs> Says the sarsaparilla is mighty good. He holds up his glass and takes I a sip. I order a sarsaparilla. There's already uh, drinks racked up by Clem, as I mentioned. Oh, okay. I drink some sarsaparilla and. Hmm. Do you know what sarsaparilla is, Tom Tom? Nope. I'm drinking it anyway. Root beer. Nice. Fancy, fancy word for root beer. The old cowboy says, uh, see, you saved your friend, in yeah. a manner of speaking. Yeah. Good. World's better place with him around. I agree. Same here. Although that body you put him into, <laughs> you're scraping the bottom of the barrel, aren't you? Well, I didn't want to just take anybody and he volunteered so had i known it worked that way i would have probably picked it differently i wasn't i didn't i don't know well we'll see how uh mckay feels about it hopefully you won't be as welcome as a porcupine and nudist colony with him yeah you know what's happening yeah what you gonna do I'm not sure because I don't think I have the, I don't think I'm able, like, I don't think I'd be able to fix the pattern inside. You're not all hat and no cattle, are you? No, no, I'm not. But I mean, I know that Joshua had more ability than I do and he was not able to do it. Well, remember two things. Worm is the only animal that can't fall down. And more importantly, you can't get lard unless you boil the hog. Very true. Hmm. Just remember not to plow too close to the cotton. Hmm. Yeah, I know. We're cutting it close by letting some time go by here. I know that. I know the time is of the essence. Oh, you know what the deal is. But now that it's out of the now that the cat's out of the bag, people are going to start noticing it pretty soon and tracking it. Can't keep something like that hidden away for long. 
whatever you got to need to do needs to be done before you leave this here protection because if they ever get it, you're not getting it back. Oh, I know. Which is why hmm. I'm not leaving with it. Hmm. Why'd you come here then? I wanted to see if this had changed at all. Hmm. He sips on a sarsaparilla. That makes me as pert as a cricket. But there's only you left. Can the destroyer be the creator? Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Like, as much as I want to leave and, like, get counsel, I think as soon as I leave. He just chuckles. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, though, when you're done, and as far as counsel goes, I, I, I'm a hooting and a hollering, but uh, when you are done, get it back, but don't let them know it was you, or you ain't never going to have no rest. They'll hound you like a fox in July. Oh, I know. I know you're scared. That's normal. Maybe even healthy. But you say the word, you'll be there, ready to rock. Really? Mm hmm If you're wanting to do it, I can't make you do it. It's all about choice. He smiles and sips at sarsaparilla. What are we trying to do here, Doc? Yeah, they seem to be having a weird, he seems to be having some sort of weird uh, conversation with uh, some old dude who's talking with a Texarkana draw and giving him a lot of weird fucking hints at stuff that he seems to totally understand and that may be baffling as fuck to you. Or not, I'm not sure. They seem to be talking around something, though. Anything else you need from me? He gives a tight lipped smile. No, it's really looking like... Brief tremor in the ground. Lights swing a little bit. <clears throat> if I shadow walked, we can do this shit. <laughs> we can do this shit. Uh, you pick up a new skill there, uh, John, right on your character sheet, motivational speaker. It starts at whatever your learned skill is. <laughs> you are constantly the motivational speaker of the group. Who knows? Maybe you'll build that up and make a career out of it. <laughs> Tony Robbins style. What kind of cards you got? 
uh, dissemination, assistant plus five, and uh, archaeology plus 20. Dissemination? Do you want to trade me that dissemination so I can play it? Yeah. So basically just toss it out and I'll give you a card. Okay. Here you go. Take this. I thought you were going to do it with no cards at all. Shit. <laughs> Don't forget you're up to six for your max. Damn it. Fucking mm. equalization can eat my ass. Mm. Well, you did get a spark of Divendi, so. Right. It just took me like, from where I was and then back down. Yeah. Just like when Donnie died, but the dude's having a baby, it all equals out. Lots of crap cards. Like, how long does it feel like that we have? You have no idea. <clears throat> you could always beg off for now, tell me you'll be back in a bit, go and do some minor adventure and try to get some cards for it or something. But who knows? <clears throat> sit around and talk smart for a while see if you can get some cards from that that's always good right now you feel as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rockers oh, rocking chairs mm -hmm. Dom Dom, he doesn't answer your question. He just sits there looking extremely contemplative, bit melancholy, bit moody, bit goth. Stroking his putter like it's his extra penis. And what's your thoughts, Doc? Maybe I might be able to help you out a little bit. So, I'm like, see, I know I'm rather willful, so I'm not worried about that. I'm fairly yeah. strong. I'm not worried about that. But it's taking things over a long period of time that I'm not very fabulous at. <coughs> mm. And I'm wondering if there's even like, if even if I were able to augment that magically somehow, if that would even really help or not. You're thinking it gets stripped away like every other magical thing on you when you went in there. Well, if it doesn't cost you your life, except for some things that you know. Oh, it may. Yeah, well, Joshua just got fucked in a whole new way, believe me. <laughs> if he still wanted to play that character. Obed. Well, I also didn't know that's how it would work either. I thought that it would like just bring him back. body. Hey, I, he's got plenty of leeway and stuff, but you know, he, he, he's a professional. He should be buying skills like play video games and shit like that. You know, slacker skills. So wait, he has to play that way from now on, or what? No, no, not at all. He he, uh, um, he should just invest a pretty respectable chunk of his points into that sort of thing because that's kind of the rooms that he moved into but he can still put some in evidence analysis spot hidden etc cetera, etc cetera. but you know basically he should have some skills that uh if he's clever will be useful if he's not then you know they'll just be wasted points but he can slowly claw his way back up
So when I got this motivational thing already, since I the, I want to get a check in that too, since I did that role, or is that just? Yeah, no, I just gave you the skills. Okay. You've personally done it. Okay. I like that you're trying to encourage the other PCs, and so I decided to give you a skill to help encourage everybody because maybe they'll go out and want to become better versions of themselves, et cetera, et cetera. The old cowboy stands up and he says, tell you what, I'll make it a little easier on you. Anytime you feel like going to where we talked about, you just go on in the back room with anybody you want to take with you and you'll be there. Okay. It's a one-way trip, though, unless you figure out the way to get out, but I can't tell you that. should be pretty obvious if you take a good enough look around. Okay. Or, of course, if you're in the center. Well, right. But for anybody else you bring with you and such. Well, it's time to heat up the bricks, he says. He walks out, tips his hat to Clem, who nods at him while sweeping. It's weird seeing Clem doing something else. But it's extra work for the actor who plays them, so it's all good. That's right. <laughs> I mean, easiest lines to fucking memorize ever, though, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys sit there drinking your sarsaparilla. Clem comes by and goes, another? Sure. He pours you guys more sarsaparilla. Goes back to doing his uh, tidying up. Nice and warm in here. <clears throat> So this firewall you took me through, is there is there more of these you can go to different places or something? Or? Oh, no. We're at the firewall. We didn't go through. Okay. I, I don't. I wanted to check it out here. Um, Actually, before we go, I want to go outside and see if there's anybody on the other side that I can see. Yeah, none that you can see. There's a so, bunch of skeletons, possibly dogs, wolves, something like that, that glow faintly. Is there some luminescent out there is this something that i could do what do you mean uh, am i able to pass through this firewall thing or I... yeah you can they probably like there might be people waiting on the other side and like and they might grab you because then they know that you know me and i i, I think that they're starting to realize that there's something happening here but I also don't think they know that I have what I have yet. But if I step on the other side of that wall, it's going to be kind of like someone hit the uh, a big alarm bell. And they're going to be coming real fucking quick, fast, and in a hurry. So you're the only one that can bring people in and out this, for this firewall? Oh, Nobody no. else does it? Oh, like only people that have walked pattern and can, as far as I know, walk through there. Or people that were born in the shadow. So what do you need to see on the other side of the wall? I was just looking to see if maybe Fiona were out there or the person that, like, serves Fiona. What's that person's name? Uh, and who's Fiona? I've never heard of these people before. Oh, these are people from Amber. And they're here to help us? Well, they want the jewel that you walked. Okay. I mean, they're not going to be happy to know that other people are now attuned to the jewel either. Are these the people that aren't shouldn't have this thing? What's that? Are these the people who shouldn't that we don't want to have this jewel? Well, to we need to fix our pocket dimension with it first. I mean, these people never seen me before, so. Because if they get their hands on it, there's going to be no way that we're ever going to get a hold of it again to fix our pocket dimension. I 
I don't have no problem checking. And I'm almost positive I could talk my way out of anything. Mm. These guys are a bit different. Who is? This, who? Everybody from Amber is a bit different than that. So you're saying I shouldn't do it? Go. I wouldn't go through. Like, if I can't see them, that's fine. Like, it was a thought. Like, I needed to come out here and, and like, I'm kind of skirting around what I know I need to do to fix everything because there's only one other person that might have a chance, and I don't know if he's willing to do it either or if he can do it either. <laughs> so. No. No, he would just fucking move. <laughs> It's time to be heroes. Give me a motivational speech role, please. Uh, let's see. No. <laughs> Cool. <clears throat> hmm. What else should I say? <laughs> It's it's hard because he's he seems to be uh, struggling with a difficult demon inside of his body, so to speak, or his brain. See so, how he's rubbing his face and going, "This sucks ass." Yes. What kind of cards you got? Uh, I got the assistant plus five. Day before someone else rolls, made the roll grants temporary bonus skill. Archaeology, assistant re-roll. Play this card after your buddy has rolled. It allows them to attempt to roll better. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one to hang yeah. All right. And instant up. Then when you're knocked down and you're instantly back on your feet. <clears throat> you guys go back inside the uh, tavern to avoid taking damage from the excessive fucking cold. It is like Arctic out here. Except for inside, it's nice and warm for some fucking reason. Um, <clears throat> ah, boy. So besides the assistant cards, what are the other cards that you have? It is... <clears throat> Okay, that's the assistant one. The archaeology, assistant reroll, and uh, instant up. So get rid of the archaeology, and I'm going to give you a card. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. So even if I like say minorly, no, because that's mm, never mind. So yeah. She's here. Just from a GMing perspective, I don't mind if you say, fuck it, let it all burn, burn. Oh, I know. 
<laughs> okay. I didn't want you um, to think Jim was trying to make you do anything. Well, I also know there's a couple PCs that would not be very happy if we just let it all burn. So, I, I, the, the way to solve that is you begin applying Joker makeup before you play every game. <laughs> I give you a fucking extra refill every time you showed up in full Joker makeup, like the Heath Ledger shit. And just <sighs> that'd be awesome. I mean, even if you do do this, you should consider the, you know, Heath Ledger Joker makeup. I mean, they it's not like it's hard to apply. They won't know we did it unless you told them. You guys are sitting there drinking sarsaparilla. It's like it's like watching somebody contemplate if they want to go to a doctor because they know that if they go to a doctor, doctor's going to want to give them an enema. And he doesn't want an enema, but he needs to go to the doctor. And so he's like, ah, yeah, I don't want to do it, but need to go. But there's an enema waiting for me. Big one. I'm going to pass a huge amount of shit through my body. I've had a couple of different animals now that I think about it. Did not enjoy them. Mm -mm. Although it was satisfying to be able to take that big a shit in somebody else's toilet so I didn't care if it plugged it up forever or not because I'm evil. <laughs> How much time has passed since I... I... I came out with Alex with uh, with with Josh, like like not his essence, but between his death, how much time has passed? You don't know. <clears throat> Bartender comes over, Clem. He's cleaning the counter. Tom, Tom, whatever you're doing, please don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's pick up everything. Fuck me running. <clears throat> now, as a GM, I will say that if you manage to survive this somehow, there is some good rewards for it. If you die, there aren't. But... <laughs> Rasslin Rad, oddly enough, may be able to come get you and then uh, stick you into one of the, because uh, I'm pretty sure he would stick you into one of the, uh, the uh, Alex Appreciation Squad girls, just because it's like, wow, he always wanted to be pretty. <laughs> if you survive that. <laughs> then you'd have a nice rack. That should make you happy. Of course, you'd have a lot of weird skills and be a 2,000 point character again, but. Do you want to talk through it at all with Tom Tom to help him well, to not be bored out of his fucking mind? Well, I mean, the thing is, is that if I don't fucking do it, like, who, no one else is going to do it. Yeah. And, like, because. Alex Kinley will let the world burn. He gave me a hard no on it already. Just letting you know. Um. So yeah. If I and like at least at this point you will be able to go and survive outside of this dimension. But there's other people that won't because they well, haven't walked the pattern yet. If it's for the better good, I did it already. He's such a motivational guy. There's an air card for you. I mean, I was facing death, but, you know, we were all bought here for a reason, so. Do you, have your, full, 
Not everybody's going to like everything that we're going to do. And when we're not here, they're going to have to make decisions too. So, Chris, do you have your full complement of hero points? Yes. Oh, thank God for that. If you're at half or whatever, I'd be like, ooh. I have no idea what it out of just for my own curiosity, what is your endurance at anyway? 68. Yeah. Right. I'm looking for like tens, I think, if not less. Yeah. 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 Roll a ten. Wow. Yeah, a skill a couple of skill fifteens would really help you. I got assistant rerolls. I got assistant plus five. And an assistant plus ten. I know. Assistant I'm giving 10. you an assistant hand on purpose. Okay. Because, like, here. I have a haste that I just got. Would that work? Take an extra full action when this card is played. You have several this haste. Is why, this is what I'm contemplating. Okay, so automate it. One, two, three, okay. positive, oh. automate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine paws, and then so I mean it's possible, but oh yeah, beats being at a standstill. All right, so you want to walk in this back room with me. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to give you these cards. I give them my trump deck. I pull <gasps> out the card of myself. Um, I'll give you the full complement of what's in there, um, should I perish. But a couple of the cards that are important are the, <coughs> the card to the PC house in MMO. This is how you get out. So if I should die and you need to get out, Pick up the Gem of Judgment, or the Jewel of Judgment, sorry. Uh, use this card here. Uh, you concentrate on it, and you can step through, and you will be in the PC house in MMO Land. I tell him again, I think he's getting distracted, or have him read it back to you. Yeah, I, my, my wife was uh, just saying something to me. Tell okay. him the Jewel of Judgment's on the line. <laughs> so if I die, pick up the Jewel of Judgment, take right. this card here specifically, what card's that? This is a painting of a room inside the PC house in MMO land. Look, that damn familiar. It and step through. It'll okay. like open up a doorway and you'll be able and you will travel through. Okay. Okay. I'd like to say I will personally miss Doc Fulton if he dies horribly. So um that's how you get back. Uh, okay. And come with me through this back door here into the back room. Hey, Doc. Yeah. Buddy, man. Yeah. Put my hand out to shake. I uh, shake your hand. It's no time for us. <laughs> no special place for us. Sings Clem in the background. And Who wants it. to live forever? He's now using the mop or broom as a microphone stand. <coughs> He's so come not through. a good singer. We go to the, the back room. Right. He opens up the door to the back room and it seems to be a big, it's like it goes into a hallway and then on one side is a big fucking huge metal room. And on the other side, it eventually goes to a bridge, and there's some old dude standing on the bridge whose picture you can see uh, on the um, thing there. Where's it? Where? Oh, it's trying to do something else. Hold on a second. It is here. He 
He goes, <laughs> oh, fuck this. I pull out a, I pull out a, a drawing. Oh, I go, he's, come with me. He's way, the, he's way the fuck over there, by the way. He's not in your way between you and the metal room. Just oh, we're so in know. the metal room, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm where I need to do the thing. Yeah. Oh, they, okay. That's what I thought you meant. No, no. He's, 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 no, no, no. He's over there. Okay. Who the hell's that dude? Uh, he, he'll, he's going to ask you if you go across the bridge, he'll ask you three questions. And if you get one wrong, you die. Wait. So, this is the guy who, with Joshua? No. What do you mean, with Joshua? Just a guy who, how Joshua died? No. No. <laughs> that's not how he died. That's how, that, that is how, however, um, Rasslin Rad died while we were coming through. He answered one question wrong and got thrown into the pit of despair. Hmm. So, <laughs> I pull out the gem. You want to instruct him where to stand or anything like that? Uh, yeah, stay here. <laughs> Don't go in this metal room over here. You notice the door you came through doesn't seem to be there anymore. Okay. However, I am going to take the, my card with me because I'm tr I'm thinking that maybe through that part, if I use the card, it might help. I don't know. But... You're pretty sure it won't. Okay. Plus, you're so busy trying to get through that that you could not spare any concentration for pretty much anything else. Okay. So, um, right. Here we go. I hold up. You the got this, brother. And I start inscribing the pattern that it was above where the box was that Joshua tried to trace into the ground. You're a freakishly brave man. If you uh, take a card for extreme bravery, if you can survive this, you'll get a refill. <laughs> okay, let's see now. And we're back to this. Welcome to making a whole new pattern. All right, so you begin what he's doing is he's got the jewel judgment on the chain and he's concentrating mightily and shuffling forward and as he's shuffling forward he's walking on new lines that are being like beamed out of the bottom of this red gem and it's creating like this a uh, new pathway kind of like the one you went through but not red this is like clear bright light on the floor and it's got the sparks and all that shit and it looks like he's making a whole new fucking pattern and stuff so, Chris. Hey, buddy. Hi. Brave mother, brave foolish man. I like it. What is your strength? 87. Call it 90. So it's 20 down. I need a 30 or less. Yes. Oh, no. no. I saw the yeah. success. Damn. Actually, I just, um, one, two. Got it. By the way, if you start to get into a spin like uh, uh, Pete did, say, hold on, none of these count. Just mash the thing a bunch in case you need to get the random number generator going again. That's the only thing I could think of later. Because I so think just, sometimes it does hang up a bit. Maybe. Did you spend uh, hero points there? Two. Okay. So you're down to 18. Let's, let's do that out loud for extra dramatics for the audience. Next. I believe is the hardest roll ever for your endurance. What is your endurance again? My endurance is a 68. Call it a 70, so that's uh, 40 down, so that is a 10% or less. Are you having him play anything, any cards on you? Can you, you have an assistant 10 if you could play that, please? Yep. So now you need a 20 or less. But if you have oh. to spend a year. Oh my Christ, you get through the endurance thing. Be sure to take a check in endurance if you survive. What is your willpower times five? 100. Wow, you're only 10 down, so all you need is a fucking 40, you bad motherfucker. One. Uh, play the assistant reroll. There you go. Two. So yeah. now, so that's three, po <coughs> three total pots so far. 
Okay. Um, play the assistant five. Play. <coughs> Four. Got it. Wow. You made that fucking look easy. Um, right. Uh, you created a new pattern. Roll a D12. You want high. Nice. That's, that's not high enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, add 12 points to your sandy unless it's already at 99. Boop. Now one point up and I'm at max. Oh. You feel slightly better for having saved the world. Now, uh, oh, where do you want to teleport to? Oh, right take a refill. Right to where he is is fine because we'll step yep. through together. Yep. Okay, great. You can reclaim your cards and stuff. And other things happen that were going to happen for fucking poor Joshua, but uh, he got fucked. And now he got double he got double penetration with Obed. Yay! Here, um, discard one of your cards. I will fucking laugh my silly ass off when he reads that. Let's see. Uh hold on a second. Oh, I know where it is. Hold on a second. By the way, just as a quick side note, Chris, did you like where I hid the jewel of judgment? <laughs> Tell me, tell me that people would would have uh, had a rough time coming up with that fucker, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see. You've already tuned to the Jewel of Judgment, thank God. And okay, so um, oh, all your crazy is cleared. Refill for making new pattern. What happens next? Blah blah blah. All right. So, some additional shit happens. Please make a note of this, Chris. While you're within this so-called pocket dimension, you, and only when you're within this so-called pocket dimension, uh, three things happen. These are only okay. for this pocket dimension, okay? First off, you have a plus, permanent plus 30% luck. So that's just your automatic modifier in addition to anything else because, you know, it's your fucking universe. Okay. Next, uh, once per adventure, you get a automatic reverse dice within this pocket shadow. All these are within this pocket shadow. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, also, um, Whatever you're trying to do, whether it's tech or magic, is one step easier for you. <clears throat> so if it's like a times five, then for you, there's no dice roll required. Or if it's a fuck no magic works, then it's a times one. Um, let's see. And also, you know that if... Uh, I don't recommend it personally because I know he's really low on hero points, but anybody who comes and walks this new pattern here, life will be a little easier for them. It's a little bit, it'll be a little bit easier for anybody to walk this one. No, it'll be light. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, they will get some sort of uh, modifier for within this shadow pocket shadow. Although it's, uh, you're thinking that since you made a new pattern here, this is no longer going to just be a pocket shadow, or it'll be, you know, some uh, shit will happen. But what you are not aware. Um, also, this does mean that you are attuned to another pattern. So you're going to get pick up another pattern power. And this is all better than dying and disappearing like poor Joshua McKay did. So um, for your, okay, no, you can't take uh, the, you can't take something from the newest tree, which is shape-shifting. Can't <clears throat> wait until you start experimenting with that. Maybe you can finally cause that horrible Alex Kinley to lose some sanity. But your highest thing is lead a small group of people through shadow. So your choices are lead a small group of people through shadow second time in a day or uh lead a company through shadow which is between 11 and 100 people 
or go to a specific place within a shadow you already know, or mask power once a day, or going up on the chain, this is like getting toward the more powerful shit, explore shadow. Ooh, tricky decisions. I think I'm going to go with go to specific place. Really? Okay. I mean, explore. Well, you know, well, we have enough trump cards. You really do. Explore shadow. Here is the long ass copy paste. Yep, I hit the wrong thing. Here is the long ass copy paste. You now realize that you are attuned to three different patterns. Thank you. Here you go. <clears throat> so much good shit at that level. So now all you got to do is train up bargain man on how to do that kind of shit. And you are now only one, two, three, four, four steps away from uh, making artifacts. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, having the basic skill to start making, learning like 50 different skills that will cause you to fucking tear your hair out, but you'll get some neat shit out of it. Okay. Um, I'll be right back now. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go rub one out real quick. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, you got to do something when you're at a standstill. I completely agree with you. But... He did it it was a huge risk for him and shit. Unfortunately, you're kind of like the cheerleader on that one. Hopefully, uh if you've got something you'd like to do, I would definitely consider telling him about it because I'm sure he'd like to do something a little less earth shaking. Although now he's got more shaking shit to do, I just thought. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom too. <laughs> shit. You're a beast. Now I got lucky on some rolls. Yeah. Hey. Uh, we, we both uh, put our shit online. Uh, the dice gods are with us. So far. Where'd you say you live at, Nick? It's with Chicago? Yeah. How's it out there? Cold, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's real rainy here. Yeah, it's slowly turning into the the rainy spring crap. And I live yeah. close to the lake, so I get a lot of extra rain as it is, too. Right. But so it's gray out. It's chilly, gray, and damp. Yay! And then I'm in the basement, which makes it just colder. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> I don't like that leaf. 
mischievous. Dude, we're kicking ass. You know what's fucked up, Chris? What's up? Is I was starting to say to John, you know, now I'm sure you could convince him to do something less earth shaking and all that stuff. And then I remembered something. And it just shows Doc Fulton standing there, breathing hard. And then he slowly looks down at the Joel Judgment. He goes, <laughs> So, you know, you still got more earth shaking shit going on, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just because you did some really hard shit doesn't mean that you're done. No. Some fucking lucky ass dice rolling there. If you're if you're talking, John, you've got yourself muted, so. No, nah, I was just taking so that way you weren't hear me uh no worries. Annoying, annoying shit. No worries. So, uh, I get my cards back from Tom Tom, and we step through to MMO to see what all is going on. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, everybody's fine. Except for Obed, he's fucked, but you know. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. Did you want to go see anybody or? Yeah, I'll go talk to Darius right quick. He doesn't know what you did, but everything seems to be better now. I go, there. You happy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, so it's over? Uh, I believe so. At that point, Claire looks off in the distance and says, for now. Can't the world just say saved for five goddamn minutes? I... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> There's your card. And... So, as we leave there, um, I pull out the trump cards and I see, like, still the same effect with the firewall? Correct. There is still a communications blackout thing going on. Thank God. Uh, by the way, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, imagine the fucking horror. By the way, I really think you should get a t-shirt that says, can't the world just stay safe for five goddamn minutes. That would be your, that's your catchphrase. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Pete had the standby. Remember the standby shirt he had on the other day? Pete did, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Fall out. So, you guys are wandering the streets and stuff, and the gem of judgment feels heavy in your pocket. You feel like it's a, a kind of a lodestone that's been placed upon you. And you know, yeah, cocaine would be good right now, you think? Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than getting coked up and going to the Courts of Amber. Where are we at now, in Mamole? Yes. Yes, although he is still daydreaming about cocaine. The devil's dandruff. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <clears throat> He's going into one of his thinking things. He almost walked into a building, <laughs> but you managed to snatch him out of the way of it. Since I don't think Logan has seen this, there, just check that link. Yeah, that's all true. 
So, and that's on a TV interview that he did in the in the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <coughs> where where do you want to wander to? You just going to. Uh, Obviously, Doc Fulton's brain has been scrambled. Do you want to just take him back to the PC house? Sure. Okay. 